Normally we end 2020 with my column, give me a break, but not this Friday. Tonight here in Times Square, it feels wrong to say, give me a break, because what happened here and in other blacked out communities was more of an, of an un-give me a break. Mobs of people handled adversity well. People reached out. It was more like, give me a hand. When it began, it sounded so frightening. There's been a massive power outage affecting Manhattan, most of Connecticut. Because we was getting scared and we started crying. These kids were in the subway after a camp trip. They were scared that something was bad was going to happen to them. There might have been panic and disaster, but then lots of people did the right thing. First, the politicians let us know they didn't think it was the beginning of a terrorist attack. Let me repeat again, no evidence whatsoever of terrorism. They gave out useful and simple advice, and the newscasters quickly passed it on. If the food goes bad, throw it out. Mm -hmm. Take your time going down the stairs because it's dark. Drink enough water. These are very simple things. And really, take this opportunity to relax. There's not a whole lot yeah. that you can do. You know? I'm, I'm with you, Liz. <sighs> Breathe. <laughs> and amazingly, people did. Lights went out in New York City. I was apprehensive being here in Times Square yesterday in 90 degree heat with no power. They called the last blackout the night of terror. What would happen this time? How many hits can my city take? You know, I like living here, but I have to say, why us? We had the blackout of 65, 77, then September 11th. Now this, give me a break. But this time, people were calm and helpful. It's nice, the man passed by, gave me $40 for the kids to get water for them. Lights are out, it's rush hour, and no crisis, no screaming, no beeping. Yeah, it's emptying out so peacefully. Elevators didn't work, so people walked out of high rises. Sometimes it took an hour or more, but the exodus was orderly. Those who were stuck in elevators were quickly released. And those who were stuck in subways were helped to safety. They were hot, but safe. With no subways, getting home was a nightmare. This was the scene outside the biggest bus terminal. People came here only to find it closed. They closed for the Yet there were no riots, people just waited. Sidewalks were packed eight people deep until people figured out what to do. People waited patiently for telephones. They got on horribly crowded buses and dealt with it. Pedestrians and cars moved over and made room for emergency vehicles. People gave each other rides. This truck driver gave lots of people rides. The power outage brought out the niceness in lots of people. Stores closed, but cheerfully sold food at discount prices. These kids sold water for a dollar. They could have charged more, but they didn't. And here in Times Square, lots of people acted as if this was a party. I'm visiting from Chicago, and this is great. So is she. So am I. Oh, you yeah. are. Where are you from? Highland Park. Evanston. Uh -huh. Still, there was fear about what would happen next. Power outage continues. I just hope it don't last until the night time. Oh, uh, what'll happen then? You know what's gonna happen. I ain't gotta tell you, man. You know what's gonna happen. What's gonna happen? I think right. it's a possibility we can start looting. <laughs> I think for safety's sake, I think but I'd like to see power But this is pretty impressive now. Everybody's being nice. The traffic's yeah. moving. It's All not chaos. It's no, it's not. All it takes is a couple of hours and a little bit of dark. Then dark came and nothing terrible happened. 50 million people without power, but there were only a few small incidents of looting. In fact, in New York City, police say the number of arrests was lower than normal. People gathered where there was generator-produced light and made music, or just talked. Many directed traffic and did a good job. Stores and hospitals opened their doors to let strangers in, just to stay and sleep. Some slept in parks and on the street. We know what people say about cities, but nobody robbed them. All in all, the past 30 hours were a human success story. Not everyone was thrilled. It's the weirdest day of my life. But when you consider what could have happened, it's been a very good day. <laughs>